Shalom, shalom. Welcome to 15 Minutes with a Captain. I am Captain Zakar. And to my right, Soldier Joshua. And today we're going to go over Jewish fables. So let's get into it here. Go to Titus chapter 1. Let's read verse 14. The book of Titus chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh huh. Not giving heed to Jewish fables. Read it again. Not giving heed to Jewish fables uh -huh. and commandments of men. That turn from the truth. So it says, don't give heed to Jewish fables. The disciples said this, wrote it in the letter for a reason, to warn us of what was to come and what was already happening at their time also. Let's show, let's show that, um, uh, what is one of the Jewish fables that is in the earth today? It is that the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are actually back in their homeland. That's a Jewish fable. Give me that in Deuteronomy chapter 28, and let's read verse 45 and 46. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 45. Yep. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. The curses of God, for what reason? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to keep his commandments. And his statutes, which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee. The for curses shall be upon you for how long? For a sign uh -huh. and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. The curses will be upon the real Jews forever. Not for a dispensation of time. Not until uh, you get the strongest country on the face of the earth backing you. It says the curses will be on you as a sign forever. Now let's get some of these curses. Jump up to verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger, in hunger, and in thirst, in thirst and in nakedness, uh -huh. and in want of all things. Now you might say, oh, that happened to them in the Holocaust. Now, you can, you can uh, stretch the scriptures of God as much as you want to, but God leaves details about who the real Jews are. Read that. And he shall put a yoke of iron. He's going to put a chain on your what? Upon thy neck. Uh-huh. Until he have destroyed you. Until thee. he has destroyed you. So you were serving for food, water, clothes, and the, the key indicator to differentiate who's the real Jews, he's, you're going to see Jews having chains on their neck, right? In servitude, basically. Jump over to verse 68. Verse 68. Yep. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt means slavery because if you follow uh, the Bible, you know anything about biblical history. The Israelites, the Jews, were in slavery under Pharaoh in Egypt. And that's why Moses said, let my people go. So going into Egypt means slavery. But how would they go into slavery? Read. With ships. The real Jews would go into slavery on ships. Read on. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. So it wouldn't be by a train. You wouldn't go from Germany to Poland to Auschwitz on a train. It would be by a ship, thus saith the Lord. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. You won't see it, meaning your homeland again. So how is it some people that are saying they are the Jews when God said you won't see your homeland again? Remember, he, we'll, we'll get to it. Keep reading. And there uh -huh. you shall be sold unto your enemies. When was the Jewish people ever sold as slaves when they got off the ship? You look it up. Google it. Read any book you want to. There's no history of it on the face of the earth. And best believe they sure ain't hiding it. <laughs> they sure ain't hiding it. Jump over to verse 29. Verse 29. Uh huh. And thou shalt grope at noonday uh -huh. as the blind gropeth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Uh huh. And thou shalt be only oppressed uh -huh. and spoiled evermore. Evermore means what? Forever. God says the real Jews would be oppressed forever. Not for not not just until 1948. It says forever. Read on. 
And no man shall save. Donald Trump wouldn't be able to pass laws on your behalf is what God is saying. But for some reason, Donald Trump is, is, has made um, what it, Jerusalem the capital again uh, of, of, of Israel. He's also uh, passed laws to teach more Jewish history in schools. He's also made uh, uh, Judaism, which is a religion. He's made it a race. Read that bottom part again. It says in what? And no man shall save thee. Jump over to verse 37. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, uh -huh. a, proverb, a proverb, and a byword, a byword, read, among all nations, uh -huh. whither the Lord shall lead thee. The byword means to be called by a different name, to be called by a different name. You would not be known as the Jew. So how is it that people are Jewish on the face of the earth right now? It says, this is, no, no, the real Jews will lose their name to be called by another name. Jump over to verse 46. Uh, yeah, go to that again. Verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. The curses. And for a wonder. Uh -huh. And upon thy seed forever. Those curses would be upon you forever. Your name would be always changed. Uh, you would be oppressed forever. You will be going on ship forever because even into this day in 2020, guess what they are doing in Libya, in Northeast Africa right now? They are selling black as slaves. Now let's go to uh, Daniel chapter 11. So how, how did they get to the point of where they are being recognized as the people of God? Daniel chapter 11, verse 14. The book of Daniel chapter 11 and verse 14. Yep. And in those times, there shall many stand up against the king of the south. Now, the king of the south at this time was Ptolemy, but it's got something very important in the next uh, half of the precept. Read. Also, the robbers of thy people, the robbers of thy people, shall exalt themselves uh -huh. to establish the vision. How, how did they establish the vision? They robbed us of our nationality. We was robbed of our homeland. It says they shall uh, rob you of your nationality and they will establish the vision as themselves being the Jews. But God says what at the bottom of that? But they shall fall because the truth will spring up in the last days like you watch here with 15 minutes with a captain. Now go to Ezekiel 35 and 10 to see how they established the vision. Read that. The book of Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 10. Uh huh. Because thou hast said these two nations. And these two countries. Now jump over to verse 1 to show you about who is the person that said this. Read that. Verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir uh -huh. and prophesy against Who it. lived in Mount Seir? A people named Esau, called the Edomites. Jump back over to verse 10. Verse 10. Because thou hast said in your spirit, these two nations uh -huh. and these two countries. These two nations would be Judah and Israel, the northern and the southern kingdom. And the countries would be what? Israel and America. Read. Shall be mine. Uh -huh. And we will possess it. As Jewish people and as Christian people in America. Read. Whereas the Lord was there. The Lord was with us. This is of God. He, he, we are the chosen people. That's why we are known as Jewish and Christians and followers of Christ. Jump over to verse, uh, chapter 36, verse 5. Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 5. Yep. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, surely in the fire of my jealousy. In the fire of his jealousy. Have I spoken against the residue of the heathen. Uh -huh. And against all Idumia. Idumia is the Greek word for Edom. Read which have appointed my land uh -huh. into their possession uh -huh. with the joy of all their heart, uh -huh. with despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. They cast it out for a prey for all nations to come and be Jewish except the real descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But how did they do that? Pull up that um, Balfour uh, declaration. How did they take the land for themselves? Can we... Can we scroll down so we can read that? 
Let's read that. The Balfour Declaration was a public statement issued by the British government in 1917 during the First World War announcing support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people uh -huh. in Palestine than an Ottoman region with a small minority Jewish population. Originally published November the 2nd, 1917 by author Balfour. That's how they took your land, our land in Israel. That's how they established the vision. And it's another way they established the vision. Pull up how they became Jewish. Pull that up. Pull that image up so we can see. And this is a history book. Read that. King Bulan's conversion to Judaism. His what? King Bulan's conversion to Judaism. Conversion. You can't convert to being a Jew. You have to be the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. Read. Under the reign of King Bulan. Evidently, during the first half of the ninth century, around in the 800s, read the Khazars officially the Khazars, the Khazars, Edom, read officially converted to Judaism. They wasn't born Jews. They wasn't born Israelites. They not the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They have established the vision of being us. Read, Bulan therefore became the first Jewish ruler of the Khazars following almost two centuries of shamanist and Muslim rulers. Uh -huh. The Khazars adopted the rabbinical form of Judaism rather than the Karaite variation. So now we see how they established the vision. Way back when they converted. Let's drop that. Let's drop that. And let's go to Ezekiel chapter uh, 20 and let's read verse 33. Let's read that. The book of Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 33. Uh-huh. As I live, saith the Lord God. God, as I live means on my life. <laughs> That's how God says, on my life, as I live, read, surely with a mighty hand uh -huh. and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out, will I rule over you. Over you. Go ahead. And I will bring you out from the people. And I will bring you out from the people. Read. And will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered uh -huh. with a mighty hand. And with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out. Uh -huh. And I will bring you into. And I, go ahead, will bring you into the wilderness of the people. And there will I plead with you face to face. I, I, I. It says, I will bring you out. Not Arthur, Arthur Balfour. It says, Thus saith the Lord, I will bring you out. Go to 1 John chapter 5 and let's read verse 10. I think it is a oh, verse three first john chapter five and verse three is that, let me see let me make sure that's what i want first john chapter three first john chapter three verse two. First john chapter three and verse two because it said i i i read beloved no are we now, now are we the sons of god uh -huh. and it doth not yet appear what we shall be for we know that when he shall appear we shall be like him uh-huh but we shall see him for as what? we shall see him as he is. It says, we shall see him. We shall see him when he takes us back to the land. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and let's read verse 12. How will we see the Son of God taking us back to the land? Read the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 12. Uh huh. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. But when? Then Face to face. But then, face to face. Now we see through a glass darkly, but then we shall see him face to face. Now let's go to Zechariah chapter 9 and verse 14. The book of Zechariah chapter 9 and verse 14. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall be seen over them. And the what? The Lord shall be seen over over them face to face the lord the lord the black messiah jesus the christ right. shall be seen over them read and his arrow shall go forth as the lightning uh -huh. and the lord god shall blow the trumpet and shall go with whirlwinds of the south now go to isaiah chapter 2 so it says that god shall be seen christ shall be seen over them he's going to send his son to redeem his people Read that in Isaiah chapter 2. Let's read 3 and 4. The book of Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 3. Uh-huh. And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up 
to the mountain of the Lord. Now let's go to Jeremiah chapter 50 and let's read verse 4 and 5. Because it says, see, many people, see, we all going to be in the kingdom of heaven. That's not talking about everybody. That's one specific people. Let's prove it. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 4. Uh -huh. In those days and in that time, saith the Lord, the children of Israel uh -huh. shall come. They and the children of Judah, the northern kingdom, the southern kingdom, the blacks, the Hispanics, we are going to come back together. Read together, going and weeping. They shall go and seek the Lord, their God. Uh -huh. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thitherward, uh -huh. saying, come and let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant. That covenant is the law of God. Read. That shall not be forgotten. Uh-huh. My people have been lost. Okay, sheep. that's it on verse 5. Now let's go to Isaiah chapter 2 and let's go back to 3 because it, it, those people are not everybody. We just cleared it up. It is the house of Israel and it's the house of Judah. Read. Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 3. And many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. To the house of the God of Jacob, uh -huh. and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. And his paths is what? The covenants. Read. For out of Zion shall go forth the law. Zion shall go forth the law. That's what we will go back and seek. Read. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Read. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. Uh huh. Because some people don't belong there. That's why he's going to rebuke. He's going to judge. Like, ho, ho, ho. This ain't your homeland. You don't belong here. No, you're not a Jew. No, you're not an Israelite. You do not belong here. Read. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares uh -huh. and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Remember, this is when the Jews return. Read. Neither shall they learn war anymore. Hold on. Hold on. There shall be no more war when the real Jews are in the land of Israel when God places them there. How come is war right now over there in the land of Israel? Every day you see on the news that Palestine is shooting mortar rockets over the fence, over the wall into Jerusalem. How is that possible if they are the real Jews? Unless we've been duped by Jewish fables. Go to Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 18. Let's get some more on that. The book of Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 18. Uh -huh. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. Look it up. Just look. go on YouTube and look it up right now. It's violence all over the land between them trying to uh, run out the refugees that have come there from all over the places of Africa and Iran. Right? Read it again. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, uh -huh. wasting nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy walls salvation, and thy gates praise. Now let's end it on this. Give me Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. It don't get no more uh, uh, exposing Jewish fables than Jesus the Christ, who said it out of his own mouth. Read that. The book of Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation. Uh -huh. and Poverty. And poverty. But thou art rich. Because the kingdom is ours and God will send his son to redeem us and give us all riches. Read. And I know the blasphemy uh -huh. of them which say they are Jews. Which say they are Jews. And are not. But are what? But are the synagogue of Satan. But are the synagogue of Satan. That is thus saith the Lord Jesus the Christ for all you good old Christians that just love you some Jesus. Jump over to Revelation 3 and 9. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 9. What is he going to do to those people that have been pushing Jewish fables since the uh, early 800s uh, uh, oh, A.D.? Read. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, uh -huh. but do lie. But they what? Do lie. Uh, in the book of Titus, they call it a what? Fable. <laughs> Read on. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. Uh -huh. And to know that I have loved thee. Because we are despised as, the pe as a people, but we got one person on our side, two people on our side. That is the Most High God and Jesus the Christ. And we shall be redeemed from these Jewish fables.
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.